Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining my class today. Today's class will be 30 minute Hatha beginner yoga practice. And I'm going to inform you that I'll be focusing more now on giving beginner to intermediate Hatha and Yin practices. So I hope you enjoyed this one. And please uh, press the like button to support me. And leave a comment by the end of the class. Let me know how it was it for you and where you're practicing from. And if you recommend the class for yourself, just type it in down in the comment below. I hope you enjoyed this one and see you on the mat. So let's begin finding our way laying on our back to a reclined butterfly pose. Take both feet to the front of the mat, close the feet together very gently. And now from here, release the knees down, walk the hands back and begin to relax the spine down towards the ground. Make sure your head is sitting up straight. So lift the head and lift it back and then release down. You have the option to place the right hand on the belly and the left hand on your heart. Gently close the eyes. And let's take together a deep inhale through the nose, fill the chest, and then fill the belly. And exhale, emptying the belly and emptying the chest out through the mouth. Ah, very nice. One on your own through the nose, inhale. And exhale through the mouth. Ah, very nice. Now, you want to seal the lips and begin to <laughs> That's Bella. You're going to begin to breathe in and out of the nose. Just begin to bring your awareness here to this present moment. To your mat. And you want to have a attention for today. Or for your practice. All I'm asking for today, it's a bit of focus, just to focus a bit on the body and the breath and a bit of effort. Very nice. Release the hands from the chest and the belly. Close both knees together and hug the knees in towards the chest. Keep the head down towards the ground and press the knees back. Now you can roll a bit gently from side to side, giving a gentle massage here. And then interlace both hands on top of the right knee and releasing the left foot straight. Now, on your inhale, you're gonna have a loose hands to the knee and on the exhale, emptying the belly, trying to press the knee back towards the right shoulder. So inhale to find a bit of space. And exhale, a gentle press to the hand, reaching the right knee back. One more on your own. Very nice. Now from here, and take both hands behind the hamstring and straighten the leg. Keep both shoulder down towards the ground and see if you can take the hands a bit up. Now you want to flex the toes back towards you and you want to feel a bit of a stretch through the hamstring. If you like, you will have the option to lift up and if you have the reach towards the foot, take it. If not, that's fine. Try to feel the stretch happening with the right hamstring and keep the toes facing towards you and look towards the toes. Very nice. One more breath here. And then gently release the chest back, release the hands down and hold here using a bit of core work for five, four, three, two, one. Lower down to 45 degree for five, four, three, two, one. Lower down to hover 
for five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Hug the knees both in towards the chest. And then release the right leg straight down. Interlace both hands on top of the left knee and press the knee, the left knee back towards the chest. Two breaths here. Again, if you'd like on your inhale to have a bit of space here and on the exhale to press the knee back towards the shoulder. Bella, she's so interested today to practice with us. One more breath. Very nice. Straighten the leg, take both hands behind the hamstring and flex the toes back towards you. If you like, you have the option to walk the hands up towards your calf or to the foot if you have the flexibility. Very nice. Two more breaths here. And then release the hands to the ground. Keep flexing the toe back toward you and the leg is straight to a 90 degree for five, four, three, two, one. And then release to 45. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower to hover for five, four, Three, two, and one. Take both knees in towards the chest. Hug the knees in, take a deep inhale here. On your exhale, release both knees, bend it towards the left, and look towards the right. So you're twisting the spine. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale back to center and switch sides so the knees goes all the way towards the right. Place, if you like, the right hand on top of the left knee and look towards the left. Two breaths here. One more on your own. Very nice. Now, you're going to begin to find your way to the front of the mat. So. Hug the knees in, cross the legs, and rock forward and back. Let's make three, that's two, and three to go forward. Now, keep the leg crossed here. Reach both arms up, look up, inhale, and exhale, right hand to the ground, and reach the left hand to the right, opening the left side of your body. Deep inhale. And exhale, see if you can reach a bit more. Make sure the sit bones, it's on the ground and both shoulders are aligned with the hip. Inhale, reach both arms up, look up. And exhale, take it towards the other side. Opening the right side of the body. Very nice, back to center, plant the hand and find your way into tabletop. So, we woke up the body now. I hope it feels warm. And let's move forward. Take the right hand forward, left foot back to a spinal balance and hold here for 10, nine. Make sure the right hand is going all the way forward. The toes in the left leg all the way back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Release the right hand to the ground. Inhale to reach the left foot all the way up. And exhale to round knee to nose. Inhale back to straight, just one, and then release down. Left hand forward, right leg back. Take it towards the other side, spinal balance. Imagine you're having a straight line from the front hand all the way to the back foot. Hold here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and one, release the hand to the ground. Inhale, reach the right leg all the way up and exhale around the spine. Knee to nose. Back to center and tuck the toes. And let's find our way to a downward facing dog. So lift the hip high, pedal the feet since it's the first maybe of the day for you. Just a gentle pedal here. Try to be comfortable to this pose. And then set the heels down, lift the hip high, straightening the hands. Make sure the neck is relaxed. Micro bend on the knee is welcome. If you're not comfortable and the heels doesn't reach the ground, that's fine. Three more breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Two more on your own. And very gently begin to walk the hands back towards the feet to a forward fold. Now you're gonna stay here in forward fold, keep the knees bent just a little to open the lower back, interlace both hands together and just sway from side to side to a Randall pose. Allowing the spine to open and make sure you're not putting any tension and you're releasing the head down towards the ground. You're letting the weight of the head to pull the spine and to open each vertebra by a vertebra, allowing the air to go out. Gently release the hands down and begin to roll the spine up. Make sure the last thing to reach is the crown of the head. Very nice. Three shoulder rolls here. So lift the chest, shoulders and open the chest, then release back. Two more. Last one. Very nice. Open the hands to the front, so the palms facing forward, straightening the spine, look straight. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up, look up and exhale, cactus the arms, arch the back. Inhale, arms up and exhale, keep the hands up and hinge the hip to the left and release the hands to the right to standing mo uh, moon pose back to center, and then take it towards the other side. Back to center, and fold forward. Walk the hands forward to high plank. Make sure the back is straight. Stay here in your high plank. If you're not comfortable with high plank, lower the knees down. And hold for five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Now release the knees and begin to lower the chest down. Open the feet to the mat with distance. Let's do three baby cobras. Take the hands a bit forward to the shoulders. Lift the palms. Balance on the fingers. Inhale to lift the chest up. And exhale to roll down. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Release the hands, the palms on the ground connected. Press up to upward facing dog or cobra. Inhale. And exhale. Downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale here and exhale, walk forward to the front of the mat to a forward fold, exhale. Inhale, reach both arms up, look up and exhale, heart center. So we will do some Hatha Sun salutations, Sarini Mascara. 
we will take it slow at the beginning to explain each pose and then we will move breath to movement so let's get started inhale reach the arms up look up and exhale hinge forward uttanasana step the right foot all the way back release the back knee down flattening the feet from behind lift the chest open the hands to the back inhale look up now you want to make sure you're not setting the hip up here you want to push the hip to feel the opening there and you want to have the front chin from the front leg aligned to 90 degree as much as you can it's not about looking perfect it's about feeling the pose one more inhale here and exhale release the hands to the mat tuck the back toes lift the back knee step back to a downward facing dog inhale here on your exhale release the knees down chest chin to the floor and slide up to your cobra or upward facing dog inhale and exhale downward facing dog same leg inhale right leg forward between the hands release the back knee down flattening the feet open the chest lift up taking the hands back look up again make sure the hip is relaxed to the front of the mat one more inhale and exhale release the hands to the ground tuck the back toes lift the back knee step back downward facing dog inhale here on your exhale bend the knees look forward walk to the front of the mat exhale uttanasana forward fold inhale arms up and exhale heart center so we did the right side now we take it towards the left inhale arms up and exhale hinge forward uttanasana step the left foot now all the way back release the back knee flattening the feet lift the chest up to crescent moon pose anjane asana open the chest release the hip look up one more breath here inhale and exhale plant the hands tuck the back toes lift the back knee step all the way back downward facing Look. inhale here and exhale release the knees to the ground chest chin and slide up to your upward facing dog or cobra and exhale downward facing dog on your inhale step the left foot forward release the back knee down flattening the feet lift the chest up inhale again make sure you're releasing the hip down exhale one more inhale and exhale release plant the hands tuck the back toe lift the back knee step all the way back downward facing dog Adha Mukha Jvanasana look to the front of the mat bend the knees walk or jump to the front of the mat to a forward fold exhale inhale reach all the way up look up and exhale heart center so first round is done and that was a bit slow and holding the poses now we will move breath to movement inhale arms up look up and exhale fold forward on your inhale step the right foot all the way back release the back knee down flattening the feet open the chest lift up so you still have your inhale here and exhale release the hands to the ground tuck the back toes lift the back knee go all the way back downward facing dog 
Inhale here. And exhale, release the knees, chest, chin to the ground. And slide up on your inhale to upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. On your inhale, step the right foot forward between the hands, release the back knee down, flattening the feet, open the chest. And exhale, hands to the ground. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, step all the way back, downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale. On your exhale, walk forward to the front of the mat or jump to a forward fold. Inhale, arms up, look up. And exhale, heart center. Let's take it to the other side. Inhale, arms up, look up, and exhale, hinge forward. Step the left foot now all the way back. Inhale, open the chest, reach the arms all the way up, release the hip down. Anjaneyasana, and exhale, plant the hands. Step all the way back, downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale, release the knees, chest, chin to the ground. And slide up on your inhale to upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward. Release the back knee down, release, flattening the feet. And begin to lift the chest up. Look up. And exhale, plant the hands. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale here, and exhale. Walk to the front of the mat to a forward fold, exhale. Inhale, reach both arms up, and exhale. To heart center. Take three breaths here to connect back to your breath and your body. You always have the option to pause the video and to calm down the breath. So listen to your body and do what's comfortable for you. Very nice. Now from here, lift the right foot, step it all the way back to a 45 degree, bend the front knee, lower the hip down, square the hip, so make sure your hip is square to the front of the mat, and take both arms up to a warrior one, Virbhadrasana one. Make sure the back leg is straight and engaged, the back foot to 45 degree, pushing the right hip forward, left hip is back, and the left knee might tend to go to the side. Make sure the knee is on top of the heel and the chin is at 90 degree. We're doing our best, just putting effort to the pose and the shoulders are relaxed from the ears. Arms reach up. I hope you're feeling the fire <laughs> building in the legs. Very nice. Open up the hands. You can take the back foot to 90 degree to warrior two. Adjust the stance of the feet. You, if you like, you can take it a bit more deeper by opening the legs. Hands to go to shoulder level. Peek back, look back. Make sure the right hand is aligned with the shoulder. And if not, that's fine. You're trying your best. You already feel the heat building on the left foot. Very nice. Bend the left elbow, release it on the left knee, reach the right arm up to extend the side angle pose. A few more breaths here. Very nice. Now, reach both arms up, both feet to 90 degree. Inhale and exhale. Let's take it to the other side. So, back foot is aligned to the back of the mat. Now, the front or the left foot now 
is at 45 degree. The hip should be squared to the front of the mat. So take the hands, place them on the hip and rotate. Take both arms up. Two, warrior, one. Virabhadrasana, one. Again, check with the back leg if it's straight and engaged. Left hip is press, pressing a bit forward. The knee is on top of the heel, 90 degree to the ground, and the shoulders are relaxed. A few more breaths here. You can gaze at one point, so you gain focus on the body. And gently open up to your warrior two. Open the hands, open the hip. Now your hip is aligned with the mat and the back foot at 90 degree. And you can adjust the feet as much as comfortable for you today. Look back, make sure the back hand is straight. If not, that's fine. Release, bend the right elbow and release it to the right knee, reaching the left hand forward to extend the side angle. You would feel this pose with the right hamstring and the right glute. Use the core, you're not laying the weight all on the right knee. You're just using the core to lift the weight and to find this perfect balance. Few more breaths here. And gently lift back up, arms up, and step forward to a prayer pose. Take two breaths here. Very nice. Now, again, step the right foot all the way back to a 45 degree. Now, take the left hand forward, right hand back, release down to a triangle pose. So left hand to the chin of the left foot, right hand to reach up. Make sure the shoulders are aligned to the ground. So the right shoulder is on top of the left to a trikonasana. Very nice. Now, from here, you want to bend the left knee and you want to release the right hand to the ground, left hand to reach up to a twisted extended side angle pose. You're trying as much as possible to taking the right shoulder close to the left knee and opening the left shoulder back, reaching the left hand all the way up. Few more breaths here. And then gently from here, lift up. So right hand to go up, left hand back to reverse Triangle pose, inhale, and exhale, let's switch sides. So arms reach up, inhale, and exhale. Take it forward to the back of the mat, right hand to go forward, straightening the back foot and releasing to the chin, left hand to reach up. A few more breaths here. And very gently bend the knee, take the left hand down to the towards the ground, and right hand to reach all the way up. Make sure here you're trying your best to place the right shoulder on top of the left, and keeping the chest and the left shoulder close to the right knee. Very nice, begin to lift the chest up, straightening the leg, reaching the left hand up, right hand back to reverse triangle. Take a deep inhale here, and exhale. Reach both arms up, and stand forward to the front of the mat. Take three breaths here. Before we do our standing balancing pose, 
and we began to layer down on the ground. So begin to take your focus and to place it on the right foot. If you like, lift the toes and begin to release one toe after the other to feel connected and planted with the right foot. Begin to lift the left foot. You can have the hands to a prayer or on the hip to have a bit more balance. And you can start here with the calf or here to lift up or to the knee, but avoid taking it forward. You don't want to injure the knee. And or you can go all the way up to three poles here. You can have the hands to a prayer or to standing mudra. Very nice. You're gonna try to hold here. If you fall, that's completely fine. That's included in the process of practicing yoga. Three more breaths here. And then gently release, shake the right foot. And then begin to plant the left foot and lift the toes, begin to release one, one toe after the other. And take the right leg to the side. You can lift up here or you can go all the way up to the inner thigh of your left foot if you like and if you can. If not, that's completely fine. Again, you can take your hands to a mudra or to a prayer position. Try to gaze at one point to the ground to have a bit of focus and stability and balance. A simple smile <laughs> won't hurt, it would help. Very nice. And gently release the right foot, shake the left foot, go to the front of the mat, bend the knees and sit down to the ground. Release back. And from here, we're gonna do a inversion, a beginner inversion. So begin to bend the knees and you're gonna lift the hip back and the feet back. Place the hands behind the hip or the lower back and you can straighten the legs. So supported, have shoulder stand, that's it here. And if you like, you can try to take it straight as much as you can. But if you're new to this pose, stay in half shoulder stand. You're increasing the blood circulation through the head which is good for your ears, your eyes. A few more breaths here. And if you have a neck injury, try to avoid this pose. Now, very gently begin to release the feet back to Halasana Plow Pose. You can interlace the hands behind the back if you like. If you can, that's fine. Try to breathe comfortably, even though it's a bit hard here. And try not to turn the head. Gently rock back to the ground. Very slow. Release the feet down to the ground. Take the hands to the side of the mat and just sway the knees from side to side, releasing the tension from the spine before we go to Shavasana. Very nice. Begin to take the feet to the outer edges of the mat. Open the feet, open the palms towards the ceiling or the sky. Let's take together a last control of the breath, deep inhale through the chest, and then fill the belly. Open the mouth, let everything out. <sighs> Very nice. Begin to relax the body here to the ground, relaxing the feet, the core, the heart. 
let your body to be heavy to the ground. You can close the eyes if you like. If you have time, stay here in Shavasana as much as you can. I hope you enjoy this practice and hope to see you soon practicing with me on your mat. Namaste.